392 392 392 392 yeah yeah 392 What is going on everybody 392 reviews here man welcome back to another video man um if you're not already man hit that subscribe button smash that like button man happy uh wednesday to everybody just at you know um my second home in uh you know the one love second home in, uh, gas station. Uh, never seemed to leave uh the gas station side uh always there when i need her you know, $70, $80 later, but that's neither here nor there. Um, welcome back to another video, y'all. Gonna actually talk about something uh, I've been wanting to talk about for a little bit today, and I think that may be uh, the demise of Dodge um, and the Hemi, so stay tuned. Alrighty, y'all, we're back. So, yeah, today I'm going to be trying to talk about, in my opinion, the downfall uh demise if you will of uh dodge so um i mean uh i don't necessarily why does a kia optima sound like that god interesting um this is not really going to be a um you know a, a video saying how dodge is really downfalling or downgrading and y'all understand what i'm talking about um it more so has to do with uh you know them going away from the hemi motor um and then creating this new inline six uh i believe it's an inline six twin turbo called uh the hurricane rumored to have like what i i forget exactly the numbers um it's rumored to have a, a good amount of horsepower. Um, I want to say like four something, maybe even five. I honestly forget, y'all. I really should have looked that up before I honestly did this video. But my biggest thing is going to be Dodge going away from its true origin and what makes it, in my opinion, Dodge. So the Dodge brothers, uh, you know, both of them are very, very famous putting almost any, I guess anything in, in anything, if you will, um, putting the most ridiculous motors in their cars, um, aka the Demon, aka any Hellcat variant, um, all the above. Uh, it's kind of just crazy to me, um, but that's what makes Dodge, Dodge. You know, they're not trying to be something they're not. Uh, they know they know what their brand is, they know who their consumers are, and I think that's what helped Dodge so much in the past. Um, in my in my opinion, I think that's what you know led to their all, all their success. Um, they know exactly who they're marketing towards, and their consumers are going to stay, you know, um, loyal. Their their you know customers are going to stay uh, loyal to their brand because they love what Dodge is doing, you know, throwing these 6.4s, 6.2 liter supercharge, um, all these crazy motors in every single one of their cars, the Charger, the Challenger, uh, the Grand Cherokee, the Durango, the TRX, uh, that's which is the Ram 1500. So it's kind of just like, let's take all the cars we make, put them in a blender, or, you know, put them in a cup and let's just draw, and that'll be the next, you know, car we put a 700 horsepower motor in. Um, and I think the, the new Hurricane motor is, is going to surprise a lot of people. Um, this video is not really out there to like just sort of like bash Dodge. I think what they're doing is, you know, it's innovative. I think it's cool. It's, it's needed for this kind of, you know, industry that we're in with the EPA and everything like that. Um, everything going down. opinion I think will they lose will they lose people I think they probably will but in turn I think they will gain people um, new platform apparently they're probably gonna use some of the Alfa Romeo parts bits and pieces um, smaller chassis uh, lighter motor more torque more power even compared to the 5.7 so it's really 
interesting to kind of see what what Dodge is going to be doing with this uh, this new Hurricane motor. Um, I think it really will surprise some people to the point where I think Dodge will acquire a whole new group of uh, like fans and everything like that, uh, fanboys, if you will. Because um, I think these motors are going to be easily tunable, and it's going to be scary what. Uh, performance people are going to be able to get out of them um, and I think the Hemi guys will kind of warm up to uh, you know the motor myself included because I think the biggest detriment to the hurricane and y'all could um, you know my guess is you could probably attest to this but sound like that will it sound good yes I mean look at BMW look at you know I mean look at Mercedes uh, who else has inline six twin turbos um, you know the, the best example is look at the M3 look at the M4 I mean that s whatever motor it is I mean they, they make some pretty good sounds I think the pops and gurgles really really sound good um, but I, it's not gonna sound like a V8 and I think that's for uh, a lot of the reason why Dodge has acquired so many uh, you know, new buyers, uh, so many fans, and I think that's really why they've done uh, so well, uh, you know, recently. So, yeah, I'm not going to ramble on too, too much. Just wanted to have a quick video um, kind of showing, or maybe kind of giving my... stuff. 